To, to accept on behalf of Elvis's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, are George Klein, Elvis's oldest and dearest friend, and Jack Soden, the president and executive director of Graceland. It is a tremendous honor for us to be here today. The first 10 artists to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His life was about music and about rock and roll. And he had such a great respect for the music and for the other 10 men honored here tonight. This is a very happy event for those of us who knew and loved Elvis Presley and his fans. And we thank you for this prestigious honor for my father. Signed, Lisa Marie Presley. I would like to congratulate all of you on the most successful exporting business probably in the history of mankind. You have exported your music to the world and you have four and a half billion satisfied customers. We're proud to be part of that. Priscilla and Lisa Marie both are sorry that they couldn't be here tonight. But they're proud and they have asked me to introduce the person who in their estimation most deserves to be here in Elvis's stead to accept this award on his behalf. His confidant, his advisor, and above all, his very, very close friend, Mr. George Klein. Thank you, Jack. Uh, before I came up tonight, the killer Jerry Lee had the best line I've heard all night backstage. He said, you know, George, Elvis has been gone eight years, and he still outdraws all of us. And he does at Graceland, 600000 a year. I want to thank Priscilla and Lisa because, indeed, this is probably the best, biggest honor I've ever had other than being selected to be a pallbearer at his funeral by his father. I want to congratulate all the other inductees because I know that Elvis would have congratulated them all and thought perhaps that this night was long overdue. Elvis was a very, very humble man. He was a terrifically nice guy. You may recall that on January the 8th, 1935, a star was born. You see, a star, ladies and gentlemen, is not made. Star is born. Jerry Lee Lewis was born. Richard was born. Fats, they were all born. They weren't made. Star is born. And I'd like to say that the, the real honest-to-goodness rags-to-riches rise of the most inspiring version of the American dream to ever happen. And in doing so, Elvis fulfilled the hopes and dreams of an entire generation, and the world was never to be the same again. You see, Elvis Presley wasn't a star. He was a damn galaxy. Look at that picture up there. That's the king you're looking at up there. Buddy Holly said, Elvis opened the door for us all. And your father, he said, John Lennon said, before Elvis, there was nothing. Without Elvis Presley, there would never have been the Beatles. Elvis is called the king early on in his career, but it was a natural thing for him. It wasn't something that he was looking for. It just so happened. Elvis was an individual, individuality, like all of these guys who are being honored tonight. Sam Phillips gave him some great advice. He said, Elvis, when you go to Nashville, you go to RCA, don't let them change you. And Elvis once told me on a train going to California, he said, George, I'm never going to let them change me. I'm going to be exactly what I am. And he was. And I've been asked many times, what was it about Elvis Presley? Why was Elvis Presley so great? And I'm reminded, I'm in of an interview that Phil Spector did for Rolling Stone. They asked Phil Spector, how did Elvis Presley sustain himself over 20 years? And Phil Spector said, hey man, ain't you ever heard of talent? The man was a great, great, great talent. And he was. Not only talent, but if you look at that picture and you saw this screen up here tonight, he was fantastic looking, right ladies? Was he handsome? 
He had also something. Elvis had something you don't get in college, you don't get in school. He had charisma, God-given charisma. And to top it all off, he combined that all with intelligence. And that's how he stayed on top. Personally, Elvis was a great friend to me. You know, I never saw Elvis refuse an autograph. I never saw Elvis refuse a handshake. I never saw Elvis refuse to take a picture with anyone. His accomplishments are so many, I'd be up here another hour if I read them off, how many records he sold. But I do want to point out that Elvis Presley sold one billion records. One billion records. And on January the 16th, ladies and gentlemen, 1971, for the very first time in Elvis's career, he attended a function. It was called the Top Ten Young Men of America. The United States JCs presented that award. And for the very first time in Elvis's career, he got up and made a speech and accepted an award. And I'm here with your permission and Jan, I think it's appropriate that I should read what Elvis said that night because I think he would say it this very night. Elvis Presley said, and I quote, every dream I ever dreamed came true 100 times. I learned that very early in life, that without a song, the day would never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Without a song, the road would never bend. Without a song. So I'll just go on singing my song. My final thought tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is death is a very short thing. So I ask all of you not to think how Elvis Presley died, but please think how Elvis Aaron Presley lived. Thank you.